welcome back to Dungeon Command. We are playing the Goblins versus the Undeath. And to start off, of course, we uh, are starting with the Undeath player and then doing the Goblins afterwards. So let's go over to the Undeath player area and we'll get going with their turn. And at the start of the turn, we're into the refresh phase where we untap any tapped creatures. Uh, so the Disciple of Kaios with 40 damage on it gets untapped and they collect one more command card to add to their growing pile uh, and that is basically the refresh activity and we would do any start of turn effects but we don't have any for the undeath player and then we go into activating creatures one at a time so we're going to uh, readjust the camera and we'll start activating uh, we have a zombie and we have disciple of Kaios, and that's all they have so let's get to activating them all right, so the first thing we're going to have is the Disciple of Kaios to go, who's right here, adjacent to the Hobgoblin Soldier, and he is going to play Fear. It's a minor action, so it's not going to tap him. Uh, it has to be a level 3 character with the Charisma trait uh, to do this, he, and D Disciple of Kaios is level 4 with the Charisma trait, so no problem. Uh, and it says Dragon Affinity, so any dragon can also uh, use this ability. But anyway, he meets a prerequisites it says shift each adjacent enemy creature five squares so he is going to be able to shift uh, this adjacent enemy five squares so he's just going to go one two three um, and four five he'll shift them to into this space and the reason he did that is uh, now uh, because he's not tapped he's going to make a ranged attack so we'll look at his card here and you can see he has a ranged attack which does 20 damage uh, at a range of 10. So that's not a problem. So that will tap uh, his character. And so he makes a ranged attack against the Hobgoblin Soldier. However, the Hobgoblin Soldier is not going to take 20 damage. Uh, the Hobgoblin Soldier, because he has... Uh, a block ability he gets to block 10 damage so prevent 10 damage whenever a source deals uh, damage to this creature and that is um, just a innate ability now um, so instead of taking 20 damage the hobgoblin uh, will take 10 however he is going to tap himself um, and by tapping himself because we have our up here our hobgoblin sorcerer is on a magic circle, so our hobgoblin soldier can tap himself to prevent 10 damage. Uh, so his innate ability blocks 10 damage, and tapping himself also blocks 10 damage, so the 20 damage amounts to nothing. So that was a wasted attack by the Disciple of Kaios, but anyhow, there you have it. And last up is going to be the zombie is going to activate. Um, and the zombie is has a movement of four and so he is just going to go this way one two three four uh, sorry one two three four is that was that correct i think so if not i'll change it uh i can't remember if he was here or here i think he was right here so one two three four yes yeah, so he's going to end his turn there and that's it uh and so at the end of of the turn after we activate we do the deploy and so the leadership now of the undeath character is going from 10 to 11, and he only has five uh, level of creatures on the board, so he can do a six or below, or a combination, up to six. Uh, and what he is going to do is he is going to field the Skeletal Lancer. It's a level four, so it's well within uh, his leadership ability at the moment. 100 hit points does 20 melee damage, has the constitution ability, and it says a rider. When this creature is destroyed, you can immediately deploy one skeleton creature of level 3 or lower in any square it occupied. So basically you destroy this unit, and the skeletal, uh, the skeleton riding it pops off and goes into battle, and it has a speed of 8. So let's uh, put that in the area, and we'll take a look at the mini. And this is what is now coming on the board for the Undeath player, and that's the Skeletal Lancer. So we'll just put him, say, right here in this corner to start off. Not a problem. 
And after that, we do the cleanup. End of turn effects, uh, draw back up to your creature hand size. So they are going to draw one more creature. Of course, we don't know what it is. To have a hand size of three. And lastly, um, is you untap your creature. So the Disciple of Chaos becomes untapped again. All right, that's the Undeath player's turn. Didn't manage to do any damage to the goblins, but now it's the goblins' turn, so let's get to them. All right, over to us, the goblin player. So uh, the first thing we do is start of turn effects, which we don't have any. Then we untap any tapped creatures, so we're going to untap the hobgoblin soldier, uh, who tapped himself uh, to prevent 10 damage, and the rest are not untapped. And then we are going to uh, get one order card. So let's have a look at this. And this says Undaunted Surge. It's a minor action. Uh, level 3 Constitution Ability. Well, that is good for either our Feral Troll or our Hobgoblin Soldier. Uh, and it says remove all cards attached to this creature. Attach this card to the creature. And it says this creature's melee attacks deal plus 10 damage. That is absolutely exactly what we needed. Awesome. Uh, and now we're into activating creatures. So the first thing we're going to do, I think, as far as activating creatures, we're going to activate the Hobgoblin Soldier, and we're going to use this card on him. Uh, so the first thing we do is remove all cards attached to this creature. So we're going to get rid of uh, Tough as Nails and get rid of Shattered Weapon. So those are gone from the game. However, we're attaching this one, which now lets our Hobgoblin Soldier deal plus 20 damage. So or sorry, plus 10 damage, which means his total damage now is going to be 30 for melee. That's awesome. Let's go to the board and get him moving. All right, so here's our Hobgoblin Soldier, and of course he's just going to move. He's going to actually go 1-2, and as soon as he's adjacent to an enemy unit, he must stop. Uh, so he stops right there, and he is going to do a melee attack against the Disciple of Kayas, and we're going to play this Standard action attack, level 2 constitution, while well, our Hobgoblin Soldier is a level 3, so this is going to tap him. And it says, make an attack against, uh, attack that deals plus 20 damage, this creature heals 10 damage. Well, we're not going to heal 10 damage, but we're going to get plus 20 damage on our attack. And what that means is, uh, our Hobgoblin now is going to do a total of 50 damage to the Disciple of Chaos, who only has 30 hit points left. Uh, and now they're going to look at their cards and see if there's anything um, they can do. And I don't think they have anything they can do. And so what's going to happen is the Disciple of Chaos, even though he has the Mage Armor protecting him from 10 damage, which would knock him down to 40 damage, the Disciple of Chaos is taken out of the game and killed. And now if we look at the uh, Disciple of Kaios, he is a level 4, which means the Undeath player is going to lose uh, 4 morale for having that creature killed. So he's going to go from 14 down to 10 morale. So what a that was a good shot for uh, our Goblin team here, which has a morale of 11. Uh, and that, of course, taps our hobgoblin soldier and now we're going to readjust the camera and activate our last three goblin uh, units okay so very quickly we're just going to activate our goblin archer uh, he has a movement of six and he's just going to go one two three four five six onto the treasure pile and for his action to tap him he will take one of the two treasures there increasing our leader's morale from 11 to 12 and so that is the Goblin Archer's turn. Next, I think we're going to do the Feral Troll, which has a movement of six, and we'll just get him sort of out into the uh, area here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just move him straight out. And he's not going to perform any actions. Uh, and do we want to do anything? No, we have no cards that we can use for him. That's going to be the Feral Troll finished. And lastly is our Hobgoblin Sorcerer. Uh, and he has a range of 10, but I don't think he can reach the zombie. Let's have a look here. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. While he can actually um, attack the zombie. 
strangely enough, it's you know, if you count the diagonals, we have a range of 10. So he's just off camera. Let me readjust and we'll do that attack. All right, so our Hobgoblin Sorcerer here is going to take a ranged shot at the zombie. And uh, the zombie is not uh, blocked by anything. You would think this corner here blocks, but it actually doesn't. If we go from this corner, uh, we can see all four uh, corners of this square that the zombie is in unimpeded. And so uh, our Hobgoblin Sorcerer has a range of 10 and a damage uh, dealing ability of 20. So he is going to do 20 damage, tap himself on the zombie. And let's have a look and see if there's anything that the uh, player can do for that. And again, nothing. So the zombie has 40 hit points uh, and it's going to take 20. So I'm going to just put 20 damage on the zombie. Uh, it's still kicking and well, that's that all right that's a good turn so far for our, our goblins and now I'll just readjust the camera and we'll finish up our goblin turn all right so now we do the um, deployment phase so we're gonna go from leadership 12 to 13 we have three six seven eight nine ten eleven we have a 12 so we could put out a creature of level one and of course we know we do not have any level one creatures so that's not going to happen um and we untap all of our creatures now uh, and that is going to wrap up the end of the goblin turn and wow we've done a really good job um that was uh, we had a very lucky card draw uh, that helped out our Hobgoblin the Soldier, was able to take down the Disciple of Chaos. All right, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Join me next time for the continuing epic battle between Tyranny of Goblins and the Curse of Undeath. All right, thanks for watching.